Hello, welcome back once again sa ating discussion ng criminal law. Dito sa video na ito, we will discuss principles under Article 17. Now, before we discuss principles, let us go back to Article 16. Who are criminally liable? The following are criminally liable for grave and less grave felonies. Tandaan, grave and less grave felonies only. Principles, accomplices, and accessories. And in the second part, the following are criminally liable for light felonies. The principles and accomplices. So kung dito sa grave and less grave felonies, an accessory can be held liable. Dito sa commission of light felonies, wala na pong accessories. And in one of our videos, we already covered grave felonies, less grave felonies, and light felonies. So if you have time, just watch the video. Now if you will recall under Article 9, light felonies are those infractions of law or the commission of which the penalty of arrest to minor or a fine not exceeding 40,000 pesos or both is provided. Now these are some of the examples of light felonies punished under the revised penal code. We have slight physical injuries, theft, alteration of boundary marks, malicious mischief, and intriguing against honor. Again, for the commission of light felonies, only principals and accomplices can be punished. Accessories are not punished. In light felonies, the social wrong and the individual prejudice is so small that a penal sanction is deemed not necessary for accessories. So yung social wrong at saka individual prejudice, negligible siya, masyado siyang trivial para ipapanish natin ang accessory for light felonies. Under Article 53, tandaan din natin na if you are an accessory, ang penalty is you lower by 2 degrees. So talagang mababa na. Now what are the rules to remember in light felonies? Number 1, light felonies are punishable only when they have been consummated. So kung titignan po natin sa Article 7, it confirms the rule. Light felonies are punishable only when they have been consummated. For example, under Article 364, intriguing against honor, which is a crime against honor. Is there a crime of attempted or frustrated intriguing against honor? There is none. Kasi light felonies are punishable only when they have been consummated. Intriguing against honor is a light felony. So kailangan consummated siya para maging punishable siya. Now that is the general rule. Number two, when light felonies are committed against persons or property, they are punishable even in the attempted or frustrated stage. Sa number 1, kailangan consummated yung light felony. Pero according sa number 2, kahit hindi siya consummated, kahit nasa attempted or frustrated stage pa lang yung light felony na yun, it is punishable provided that light felony is a crime against person or property. So ibig sabihin sa attempted theft, for example, when the value of the property entails a penalty of arrest to minor, since light felony siya, kahit hindi siya consummated, kasi nga attempted theft, punishable pa rin siya kasi it is a crime against property. That is rule number 2. And Article 7 confirms this rule. Nakalagay dito, ba? Light felonies are punishable only when they have been consummated with the exception of those committed against person or property. Number 3, only principals and accomplices are liable for light felonies. Ang ibig sabihin nito sa number 3, hindi liable ang accessories for light felonies. And yan ngayon ang rule under Article 16. Only principals and accomplices are liable for light felonies. Number 4, accessories are not liable for light felonies. For example, sa crime of theft, kapag ang value ng ninakaw na property ay only 400 pesos, under Article 309, as amended by Republic Act 10951, that is only a light felony. So kapag tinulungan mo yung offender to profit by the effects of the crime, or nag-profit ka sa effects ng crime, or tinulungan mo siyang makatakas, generally, you are an accessory. Pero dahil it's a light felony, hindi ka magiging liable as an accessory. Kasi under rule number 4, accessories are not liable for light felonies. Just to be clear, no? Dito sa exception na light felonies are committed against persons or property, it only applies to the different stages of the execution of the crime. Ibig sabihin, generally, ang light felonies, punishable lang siya kapag nasa consummated stage. Kapag nasa attempted or frustrated stage siya, hindi siya punishable except if it is a crime against persons or property. Pero pagdating sa principals, accomplices, and accessories, principals and accomplices are liable for light felonies. Whether it is in the consummated stage or attempted or frustrated stage kapag it is a crime against persons or property. Ang accessories, hindi siya liable for light felonies whether in the consummated, attempted, or frustrated stage. There are two parties in a crime. We have the active subject and the passive subject. 
Now, itong sa active subject, he is the criminal offender, the person who violated the law, the person who committed the crime. Now, the persons or active subjects liable are the principals, accomplices, and accessories. The treble division of persons criminally liable is based on the very nature of their participation in the commission of the crime. Kapag sinabing treble division, it is threefold. Merong tatlo, principles, accomplices, and accessories. And the classification is based on the nature of their participation in the commission of the crime. So, kailangan merong two or more persons involved in a crime. Question, can a corporation commit a crime? The answer is no. Only natural persons can be active subject of a crime. Tandaan na there are two kinds of persons under our civil law. We have the natural persons or kagaya natin, yung mga pinapanganak na mamatay, mga nagkakasakit, nagmamahal at nasasaktan, mga pinagtagpo ng kapalaran pero hindi tinadhana. Yun ang mga natural persons. And then we also have juridical persons, kagaya ng state or corporations, institutions for public interest or purpose, or yung mga corporations, partnerships, and associations for private interest. Now, take note again, only natural persons can be active subject of a crime because, number one, corporation cannot be arrested or imprisoned. Hindi mo naman pwedeng aristuhin ang corporation or hindi mo naman siya pwedeng ikulong, kagaya ng JFC, yung may-ari ng Jollibee, or kagaya ng construction companies, Diba? Mga mining companies, hindi mo sila pwedeng arestuhin at ikulong. Number two, a corporation has no personal violence or malicious intent. So, hindi naman sila capable of violence. Hindi rin naman sila nag-iisip. Wala silang sariling pag-iisip kasi they are corporations. They have a separate juridical personality. Pero, sino ba ang capable of violence? Sino ba ang pwedeng magkaroon ng malicious intent? Di ba yung mga nagpapatakbo ng corporation? Kaya, dito sa number 3, only directors, officers, and employees responsible for the offense shall be charged and penalized. So, sila lang ang pwedeng arestuhin at makulong for the commission of the crime. At kung babalikan natin, itong mga directors, officers, and employees, they are natural persons who can be active subjects in a crime. Next, we go to passive subjects. Or the injured party, siya yung victim, siya yung receiving end ng crime, the holder of the injured right. Now, who are considered as passive subjects? Number one, man or tayo, mga tao. And then, juristic person. So, eto na yung mga corporations. Kung sa number one, ang corporation ay hindi pwedeng maging active subject. Sa number two naman, pwede siyang maging passive subject. Pwede siyang maging victim. For example, nagnakaw yung employee ng corporation. Siyempre, yung ninakaw niya, it's a property of the corporation. And then, the state can also be a passive subject. Question. Can animals be passive subjects? Take note of our law, Republic Act No. 8485, otherwise known as the Animal Welfare Act of 1998, as amended by Republic Act 10631, malinaw sa Section 9. Any person who subjects any animal to cruelty, maltreatment, or neglect shall, upon conviction by final judgment, be punished by imprisonment and or fine. Now, can the dead be passive subjects? Under Article 353, dito sa libel, when you blacken the memory of one who is already dead, then you can be charged for libel. Pwede kang kakasuhan ng libel. 